Hey girls, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Carrie. So today I have a get ready with me video. This has been requested for a while. So I did one where I am going to go over my makeup routine with you and I show you how I curl my hair, which is really quite simple. So if you're excited for this video, give it a thumbs up. I wanna just talk about a couple things really quickly that I didn't get to talk about during the video. Um, first, um, my my hair so this is gonna sound crazy but I have had I've like always had dandruff the dandruff part isn't gonna sound crazy but I've always had dandruff and for years for as long as I can remember I've always had to use like a dandruff shampoo and I have to like switch it up because my scalp will get used to it whatever um, so when I try like I have Olaplex I love it but if I use Olaplex or any other like salon um, shampoos like my scalp gets so bad so a few months ago I started using head and shoulders smooth and silky which sounds horrible and you would think like this would damage my hair but I asked my stylist she said it was fine I only wash my hair once a week I do double wash but I really get in there and I use this little like scrubby thing um, there there is some product on my scalp from dry shampoo but it's also just my scalp it's just dry so this is what I use. It has frizz control too. I feel like when I use this and blow dry my hair, my hair isn't frizzy, so go figure. But she said one of the reasons it was okay for me to use that is because I go in with my Aura Bay conditioner. I use the bright blonde conditioner. This is like a purple. This would be what you consider a purple shampoo. Oh great, it's all wet, dripping everywhere. Fantastic. Um, I have the shampoo also, it's just if I use it, my dandruff gets bad. So I use the head and shoulders and then I use the purple conditioner. And then one last thing I just wanted to share with you is this Charlotte Tilbury Magic Eye Rescue. They have like a magic cream I think for the whole face but I just have the eye and there it is. It's, I think it's one of those refillable where I run out, like I don't have to get the whole thing again. Yeah, which is really cool. Um, I just take some of that and pat it under my eyes. So I just wanted to show you those products because they were done before I put everything else in the video. So let's get into it. I am going to do my best to film like how I do my makeup and then I'm going to curl my hair. Um, I washed my hair. It's been air drying. I just clipped it back. I usually put my makeup on before I curl my hair. Um, that way my hair's out of the way while I'm putting on my makeup. I also usually put my makeup on in the bathroom, but I don't have good lighting there at all. So I'm actually sitting in front of the sliding glass door <laughs> in my bedroom and I'm just using natural light. And I usually use a ring light when I film, but I didn't want that to mess with anything either. So hopefully this turns out okay. I also have my mirror right here I usually use for try-ons and um, like for Instagram try-ons so that I have a larger mirror to use and the view in front of me. So first time I've done a video like this so hopefully it turns out okay. The first thing I've already moisturized the first thing I'm going to start with is my foundation. I have two different foundations I usually use, but today we're just going to talk about what I'm using today, and I am going to be using probably, for the most part, Charlotte Tilbury um, products. This isn't like sponsored or anything like that. I just have recently come to really love Charlotte Tilbury products in the last few months, and... So that's what I'm going to do. So I use the Beautiful Skin Foundation. I have like combination type of skin, I would say, as far as um, I get pimples that are kind of oily. And then I also get pimples that are um, like the dry pimples. And that's how I figure out what to do with my skinny hair products which I can have that be another video I didn't want this to be too too long it's actually perfect to I'm getting once I'm finished filming this and like getting ready I'm going to be filming an Abercrombie try on um which is already going to be up because I'm going to post that one before this just because with Memorial Day they always do sales and everyone's always eager to see the new Abercrombie pieces so as I've said I'm like by no means a makeup expert 
And also with that being said, days that I film, I do tend to put on more, like if I just go to the office, like foundation, concealer, I'm done. But days that I film, I put on more. So that's why it's good for me to film this too. I use a beauty blender. This is like a real beauty blender. I know there's a lot of fake ones that work well too. Um, so sometimes when I film, I'll start, I'll put a little bit of like a second layer on. What's really great about this foundation that is that it's very buildable and it's very light. Like it doesn't even feel like anything is going on in my face right now. Um, I do have a foundation brush also, but I just really love to use the beauty blender so you can kind of see like I just put it all over my face usually I would be in the bathroom to wash my hands but I do have a towel that you can't see where I'm kind of just getting it off of my hands so next I'm going to move on to my concealer and the one I'm going to use today is the Charlotte Tilbury I use the number five which is medium and this is a brand new one I just got this in so you can see I love this little sponge thing now they have a concealer brush but it's been out of stock forever um, so I don't have it it does take a while to get this started when you when it's a fresh one just keep turning there we go it's starting to come through and if you guys can see so usually if it wasn't a fresh one like I just do a few clicks and it's ready to go but because it's a new one it's kind of got to like seep through there I don't know if you can see and then I can literally just like put it under my eyes like so, I think I actually did too much. I'll go ahead and do these laugh lines too. Um, and then sometimes I'll spot if I have any pimples. I'm doing like pretty good right now. Then, um, if you have a concealer brush, fine. If not, I just take my beauty blender again and I just really, really pat, 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 pat. Again, this is more about the products I use, not really about my technique, because I am like, <laughs> I don't I don't know. There are so many things with makeup I don't know how to do, and I try to watch videos, but it's so hard. But I have been getting questions on Instagram of like, oh, what are you using for your makeup? And when I started using, a few months back when I switched up my products, I started getting more comments and people started noticing, basically just that I was like wearing eyeliner and like bronzer and things like that. So that is that. Hopefully this isn't super boring. So I should be talking too, huh? Um, <laughs> you see, I am really good at multitasking, but with makeup, it's kind of weird. So yeah, you just kind of really want to like pat it, pat it dry. Sometimes I'll go back and add more, but sometimes I'll do that later. Usually today I would have done like eye patches under my under my eyes before I filmed too, but I kind of just forgot. <laughs> Okay, um, I have this setting spray that I also use and most people think of setting spray as like after you put your makeup on, um, it can also be used as a primer. So I didn't put any primer on today, sometimes I do, but I like to actually spray this after my foundation and concealer before I start putting anything else on because anything else I put on now is going to be a powder. I've just seen that. I don't really know what the right thing is to do, but that's just what I do. So I'm just going to mist it. And I just kind of go until I feel like I didn't miss any part of my face. I also got my whole left leg right there, but that's okay. So then I kind of just have to let that dry. Um, let's see. So that's also Charlotte Tilbury. All of this is obviously going to be linked down below for you girls. And I'll go ahead and link like my colors to, um, the foundation I used a seven, the concealer I used a five, like I said. I would recommend though, I, I so I actually had, um, somebody at the Nordstrom Charlotte Tilbury counter. She's actually like become a a contact now like we message I tell her when I need something but she um she's the one that let me know what colors to get which was really helpful because I wouldn't have known on my own so I do kind of think it's better when you go in and have somebody see your skin and let you try a couple colors and then tells you what to get um okay so let's move on now to blush and bronzer which I actually didn't grab my blush brush so 
be right back. If you guys aren't crooked, because I have you on like multiple boxes. <laughs> so funny. Okay, so while I went back into the bathroom to grab a couple things I forgot, I also went ahead and started blow drying my hair. So usually I let it air dry. I actually have a towel. I put it in for about 30 minutes and I let it air dry for another 30 minutes and then I'll blow dry it the rest of the way. And I kind of go back and forth with like makeup and hair, but for this video, it's hard to do that. So I just went and started blow drying it so that it's like mostly dry. So next we're gonna move on to blush. I think everybody does like the order of things differently. Um, but I'm just showing you what I do. And I don't use like a setting powder, like I think because I use the spray, I guess, in case you're wondering if I missed that step. So next I'm gonna do the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Love is the Drug um, blush. And I have never really been much of a blush person, honestly. But again, I asked my Charlotte Tilbury girl, I, I don't know what to call her rep, but she's the one I use. I asked her and she told me which one to get. Um, so, which it's really great. Like if you guys use Nordstrom, you can have a stylist like help you through the app and she'll create like little stylist. Like you could have people do that for outfits for you, but she does it for makeup for me. Like she'll put things together that way. When I buy it, I think she gets credit, but I'll be like, Hey Victoria, like what blush should I get? And then she'll just put it in the little like style thing for me. But I'm going to put it up close. So you can see the two colors because what I do is I have to think, I don't even wear blush that much, but like, this is like my filming makeup, going out makeup. Um, so what I'll usually do is I'll, you can see like I only haven't, well, you probably can't tell there, but I don't use a ton of this. And this is a, the brush I use. I do have a pack of Sigma brushes, which are really good. I've had them for years. You can just clean them. So this is the large angled contour brush. It's the F40. So I guess it's a contour brush, but I just use it for blush. So anyways, I go to where um, I'm like more on the side, like not getting that middle color. And I just kind of go like that, which it's hard for me to see there. I don't put a lot. And then I'll go where I'm getting kind of like half that middle color and half not. And then I'll put it on. And again, not really a ton. That's just me, but that's what I like. And then next, we're gonna go to bronzer, which I use the number two medium bronzer, and which is so great. This brush, it's called the airbrush, like you go like that, and then when you wanna close it, you just go like that and put the lid back on, but I love this brush. I'm sure it has multiple uses, but I use it for my bronzer. So there's my bronzer and I just kind of circle, get it on there. And then right under where I put the blush, I just pat it like circles. And then again, circle here and circle. And then I do my hairline and then I just kind of make sure that's like blended there. I might do like a quick and a quick and that's pretty much it. Um, and then like I said, so this part's cool because you pull this up, put the lid back on. So that is that. And then I just, at this point, like sometimes I'll go back in with my beauty blender if I need to like just kind of make anything look like it's all blended type of thing. Another thing you're going to see me skip is eyebrows. Like I do nothing for my eyebrows except pluck them. I just never got into drawing them in or anything like that. That's just me. Um, I've never really been considered much of like high maintenance girl. <laughs> I think with this blog, I've been coming a little bit more so. All right, so next we're gonna move to eyeshadow, which is not Charlotte Tilbury. It's uh, Naked 3 by Urban Decay. I've had this for a while. I really need to get a new one. I actually just bought a mini one because whenever I go out of town, I hate having to bring this big thing. So I just bought a mini one and um, I just got a mini eye palette in from Charlotte Tilbury too. I haven't tried this. What happened was I just bought my concealer and some lip products and this was like the free gift. So now I'll have too many eyeshadows, but this is the one I usually use. 
you can see inside it has 12 different colors I love it I don't always use the same colors quite honestly um, I usually just like play around with them and yeah so today I'm gonna use the color trick this is tough like I need to use this mirror and I'm gonna just cover my whole there Shay oh you heard a noise it's a truck that drove by yep mm -hmm. that's him barking barking at the traffic they're gone, Shay. They go by very fast. Mm-hmm. Gone. <laughs> okay, so I usually use two to three different colors on my eyelids, just depending on my mood or what I'm doing. But I always use this eyeshadow palette. I don't have like a ton. Like I told you, I have this one, and then I just have the too many ones I haven't even used yet because that's just more for travel. Okay. So I'm covering my whole eyelash, uh, eyelid with the trick. Actually, I think I'm just going to stop with that. Oh, all right. There's another brush I need to grab. <laughs> Plucked a couple of my eyebrow stragglers too. I use the tweezer man. Just like really good tweezers. But what I was going back to get was after I put on my eyeshadow, I used just like this random brush just to kind of blend at the top. I don't know. That was just what I do. Um, and like I said, I'm just going to do this one color because that one's fine by itself. Just kind of depends. Sometimes I'll do a couple. Yeah, that's just a good like shimmery color there. And let's see, I don't really use like a highlighter. I just got one from Charlotte Tilbury. I used it once, so I'm not gonna show that today since it's not really like a regular. Um, all right, so now we're gonna get into eyeliner and mascara, which are not Charlotte Tilbury, they're Chanel, which only Chanel things I own, but that's okay. So I'm gonna use, I prefer brown, when it comes to mascara, even though we don't think that my mascara is brown. Does it not even say a color on it? Well, it's number 10. All right, but the eyeshadow, or Jesus, the eyeliner, I use Espresso, which is number 20. Just kind of round it up, and I only do my bottom lid. I actually stopped wearing eyeliner for years. I didn't like it, and then a couple months ago I bought this and I did get a lot of compliments on it um my eyes are very small so I never know if eyeliner makes them look smaller but I do feel like when I just do the bottom lid it looks it does look better I don't do the top I don't know how someone needs to teach me how to do the top but just a little bit just to like accentuate that and I always hate doing that because then I'm like touching under my eyes so then I kind of like pat again with the beauty blender that's Shay fake sneezing so he does that when he wants something he just had lunch but he probably wants to go to the bathroom he always wants to go OUT when I'm like filming or getting ready and stuff it's just how it is unfortunately I just love blotting with the beauty blender I just blah 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 okay so next we've got the mascara which like I said I use number 10 I also really like Clinique mascara I haven't used Charlotte Tilbury interestingly enough but like I said this is the number 10 what you doing so cute I know you can't see him and come here and say hi Want to come here and say hi no okay so I just but on like so yeah I can't do it that way girls I'm sorry um it's I usually just do one coat sometimes when I'm filming I'll do two and I also used to not do my bottom lashes and now I do again it's like am I even still on camera yeah it's hard I feel like I have to get so close. Like even in the bathroom because of the sink, I won't use that mirror. I'll come in here to use this mirror or like I'll use a mirror from. So lastly for makeup, just 
good timing because my battery is flashing. Um, what I do most often, I don't always do the same thing, but what I do most often is I put on the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner, but I don't line my lip. I cover the whole thing. I just use it as a base. And then I go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Crystal Happy Kiss. It's like a gloss that's on a stick. <laughs> this is my go-to. I have other lip products I use too. But that's my go-to. I feel like lip lining is not super easy either, I found when I do that. Sometimes I'm just, again, patting. I feel like my, like I said, when I film, my makeup, like, appears to be more heavy. This is by no means, like, what I would do. Well, I would do this just going out to dinner. It really just comes down to how much time I have. But it's definitely like a filming or night makeup, I guess I would call it. All right, I'm going to change my battery, and we're going to move on to the hair. Hey, it's hair time. All right, so my hair is completely blown dry. Like I said, I just let it air dry and then finish it off. I have a lot of hair. Sometimes it's hard for people to really tell how much hair I have. I do not have any extensions. It is all my hair. And it's actually probably less as I've gotten older too, but okay. So I use, which is heating up, luckily I had a plug right here. I use the T3 clip. It's the one inch. That's all I need. Um, I've got it heating up. I usually, it can go up to five. I usually do it on two or three. Today I'm going to put it on three. And I don't put any products in my hair. Sometimes when I get out of the shower, like I'll put some some product in, which I did put something in today. I don't even know what it was. Um, but as far as when I'm doing my hair, I don't put any product in. I'm used to having a huge mirror. So what I do, I put my hair in two sections. And then I just use these little like clips I'm sure I bought on Amazon. I only need two of them, but I think it's like a pack of six. My hair's still a little damp, but I don't feel like messing with the hair dryer. There's still some damp parts. Sometimes I would go back with that, but as I do it, it'll be fine. So I just kind of clip that those parts up like that. And then I split this part. It's nothing crazy genius, but I went to a class. I actually brought my curling iron and the girl that does my hair taught me how to do it, which was awesome. Okay, so what I do is I grab a piece of hair and I kind of switch up. You'll see as I'm going how much hair I grab. That will kind of change the size of the curls versus having different size barrels. And I just want to keep it simple. I do this once a week and then throughout the week I just like brush it out or add a curler or two if I want. So I clip to where I just leave like an inch or two at the bottom. I roll it vertically, so we are doing it in this viewfinder, and then I hold it here. I hold it for, I don't even know, probably somewhere between like 15 and 45 seconds depending on how much time I have and if I'm in a rush. Um, I know I have to give myself enough time to get this done, so that's why pretty much now I do it on Fridays, and then it's good, and I do it Friday like early, not right before I'm getting ready to go out, usually because I'll have to film, and that's what I will do. So I am probably wind up putting this on a time lapse because it's going to be very boring to watch me curl my whole head. And then I literally just lighten up on the clip and pull it through. And that's it. Then I just leave the curl and I go on. I start from the back because I feel like I don't miss any hair that way. So I'm going to do this section and then this section. So 
So let's see. Some of you may have just found my channel this way. It's like a get ready with me. Um, so my name's Carrie. <laughs> so I probably will have said that in the intro. But um, yeah, I mainly film like style videos, try on videos. I've done a couple vlogs. So see, there's only going to be three curls here. And I could have done it where there were six if I would have just taken less hair. So that's really up to you and how much time you want to spend. I don't care as much about the bottom layer because you're not really going to see it. But it is going to be underneath and going to add to the volume of my hair. So yeah, a little bit about me. I started this YouTube channel in January of 2021. So it's been almost a year and a half. And I started like the Rose Gold Fashion Blog Instagram, all of that, all at that time. And I'm actually really happy with the growth. I mean, it hasn't been a crazy amount. I haven't like gone viral or anything, but I've got some really, I've got a lot of great followers that watch all the YouTube videos, always comment below. Same thing on Instagram. Like there's just certain names that I'm like, I'm always corresponding with them because they're always just being very nice and putting nice comments on my posts or videos and things like that and certain people that are always giving me ideas and actually I feel like I formed real connections with some of you which is really cool um but yeah I live in Florida I live in South Florida um most people know or know Orlando so I'm like hour and a half to two hours south of Orlando. I do live on the East Coast. I can literally see the Atlantic Ocean right now as I'm talking to you guys. I live on what's called um, Hutchinson Island. And yeah, it's like a pretty large island there's a couple of them that like span the east coast so it's not like you can figure out exactly where I live <laughs> but um my husband and I moved to the island in October of 2020 and I convinced him to sell our house because I wanted to renovate and it was going to cost a lot and the way the housing market was it just made sense to sell the house and go ahead and um build um which turned into us saying, well, let's just move to the island for a year and rent. That'll be really fun. Like, we don't have kids. We just have a dog. It was actually my realtor, realtor's idea. So we did that. And after being here for, like, I don't know, two weeks, we were like, oh, my gosh, we can't leave the island. Like, we have to stay here. So we started looking for property on the island, which we did purchase a year ago. And um, it's just a process to build. I could do a whole video on that, like the do's and don'ts. We haven't even broken ground yet, but I could still tell you the do's and don'ts. It's just a process, and we'll we'll get there. So you can see these, like, nice, the way that I do these curls, they just end up being very, like, nice spirals. If I hold the curl longer, it's going to be tighter. All right, so as we move to, I got those done. I literally just did three on each side. So now what I'm going to do is I'm not going to take all of this hair. I'm just going to unclip out, like, half of it. So that more starts to fall down. So it's going to end up being that I do my hair in six sections, not in four. I just, it's easier to clip it this way. And I just started doing it this way. I used to do it in four, but I feel like so much of my hair got missed. So now I've got the hair I just pulled out. Oops. And I'm just going to start with that from the back. Maybe I won't do a time lapse and be like, you could just literally do your hair with me. <laughs> But yeah, so now we're just in the process of um, getting going on the building. Like we have a contractor, we have plans, all that. It's just everything is, everything's a process these days. Everything's expensive these days. But I'm super excited about our house. I will have a whole room just for filming and actually a whole room and bathroom, which I'm so excited about. Granted, that's still so far away, but it will be very exciting when that happens. Um, yeah, so I guess we'll call it like a closet. I'm still gonna have a closet because my husband and I will have like the his and her closets in our master bathroom, but then I'm gonna have like um, 
a clothis where I can then have a desk where I work on things and then also like clothes that I'm sharing and things like that and beauty stuff. So anyways, I'm sure I'll be taking you girls along for that um, once we actually get going, but there's not really too much to talk about now. I am would never share my plans on here because we paid a lot to have them drawn up, so it's not something you like give out your plans <laughs> like over your house, unfortunately, um, for others. But you know, for us, it's like we don't want everybody having our house. Um, that's the whole plant point of doing a custom house is that everybody doesn't have your house because it was drawn for you, custom for what you want. Um, but uh, another thing, a lot of you may not know, most of you probably do if you've been watching, but. This is just something I do on the side. I just have always really liked fashion. Not really beauty, but um, I've started getting into the whole hair thing and all that. Um, is that I'm actually a physical therapist. That's like my, you know, real job, if we want to say. Um, I have been a physical therapist for 12 years. Yeah, yeah, it's May, so it's been 12 years since I graduated from PT school in Florida. Did all my schooling in Florida. All right, so we did that. Now we will unclip some over here. Um, but in 2000, um, let's see, 2013. Yeah, in 2013, because 10, 11, yeah, 2013, I started my own practice, my own physical therapy clinic. So I've had that uh, going on 10 years now, which is really exciting. Um, and I grew it from nothing. I actually have, sometimes it's okay if you end up getting some of the same hair again, because I feel like I dropped that weird, and I can feel that that's wet. Um, what was I saying? Do to do, do. Yeah, so it was a, it was a lot of oh, I was gonna say I actually have a YouTube channel for my clinic, but we haven't we haven't put anything up in over a year. We were putting more up like um, when COVID was really bad and we were slow, we were putting up like exercise at home exercise videos and stuff just because people couldn't go to the gym and things like that. Um, we might get back into that a little bit more. But I actually don't really do much on my business Instagram stuff at all. It's horrible. I just do everything for this. Um, but, yeah. So that's what I do on days that I say I'm, like, going to the office or don't going to the clinic. That's what I mean. My husband is actually the office manager, which is cool. So it's like we work together. We spend a lot of time together. Um, but he also does graphic design. And it's good because he can work on projects from there. Like he's actually at the office right now working on his graphic design, not on physical therapy stuff. And I'm here. So it's like we're both kind of working on our like side things. <laughs> so I'm really excited for him to, to grow that. Um, he originally got a degree in finance and he just didn't really like that. So he went back to school for graphic design and he is so much happier. It's so important to like do things we love. And for me, it's like I love being a physical therapist. Um, and for so many years it was like so fulfilling and it was enough. But then, I don't know, I felt like I needed to start this. Like I needed to have an outlet that wasn't that. So that's kind of like the nature of me starting this. So we're getting there. So now I just took out the rest here. We're just gonna go forward. I mean, obviously you get the idea. If you stuck around this long, I want you to put a um, what emoji. Just do like any hair or makeup emoji down below and I'll know you made it to this point of the video. <laughs> And I'm just trying to think of random things to tell you girls. I'm an only child. Um, don't have any kids. Just me, my husband, and my dog. Um, I do still have my parents, luckily, and they live near, they are not too far from here. 
Um, technically where I live is still like where I grew up. It's just like a different part of where I grew up. So like my parents are like 25 minutes away even though it's the same county. And then else? I used to run a lot. I used to love to run in 2012 my husband and I did the Chicago Marathon which was really cool so long ago now and actually we got married in 2011 and the week before our wedding we ran our first half marathon together and actually oh, it would be so cool if I could find it but there's actually like a picture of us crossing the finish line together holding hands it was very cute um, cause we definitely ran it together he didn't like go ahead of me, even though he probably, well, he definitely could have, there were other races then down the road. Like I did not have him wait for me when we were both trying to like get our PRs. <laughs> um, and I stopped train running probably in like 2018 or 19. Uh, I had some injuries, which is common. And I mean, and as a physical therapist, like I knew how to treat the injuries. I knew what to do for them. It's more that I just came to not really love running anymore. Um, then there was a period I had like a love-hate relationship where I would like run for a couple months and then I would stop. And when COVID first started, I started going for like a couple runs again, but I just never really got into it. And my true exercise love is yoga. But then also with COVID, like my yoga studio closed down and never opened back up. And I used to go to hot yoga, which some people sound crazy, but I loved it. I haven't been able to find a place like close that does it. Like I'm going to have to go a half hour away. Just haven't got myself, which I know isn't far, but it's like an hour just in the car. The place I used to go to before, I mean, I lived somewhere else, but it was only like 11 minutes from my house. So it was like really easy to get up and go to yoga and come home. Um... Now we do go to yoga on the beach. Like I went this morning. There's a girl that does it on the beach, like on the pavilion by the beach. And that's great. But I love the hot yoga. And here's why. It's not hot or I mean, it's hot, but it's not humid. And as someone who lives in Florida and like it is, you know, people always complain about the heat in Florida, but girls, let me tell you, it's not the heat that's bad. It's the humidity. So in the hot yoga classes, it's not humid. It's just hot. So the sweat I would get like running versus in hot yoga was so different. It's like the, the hot yoga sweat is like cleansing. It's not like gross, like the running sweat. And quite frankly, with running, um, oh, just it's miserable in the hot months. And yoga wasn't, but that's just me. All right, so we're on this front piece. You can see like I just curl in. I obviously want to make sure I don't get my scalp. But these are what are called like the beach waves or whatever. But that really isn't too bad. So then after I do it, I kind of see if I want to add any. Or sometimes what I'll do is like I'll take this big curl, split it in half, and I'll just do the top part like a little bit just to almost make it like a smaller one. So I'll do that a couple times. Because I did... Today I did do bigger ones. I wasn't wanting to take so long. Like I have more filming to do plus for you guys. But I'll just add, give you an idea of how I'll take one, split it, and then I kind of just really do the top part. And then I don't hold that nearly as long because it's already been curled. And then again, I'm not going to put any product on. Generally what I do now is... I just let the hair stay like this and I'll continue to get ready. Like I have to set up now to film a try on. And then right before I'm going to start the try on, like literally like I'm dressed, everything's ready. I'm going to hit record. I brush my hair and that's that. But I'm not going to brush it now because I want it to be able to just like settle like this. 
Hey girls, I'm actually filming my, filming my Abercrombie try on and I just wanted to show you girls really quickly that this is my hair when it's completely done. So I didn't brush it today. I actually just put, took my fingers and combed through it and I honestly did it like 10 or 12 times, like five or six times on each side. I just combed through. So not a lot. Sometimes I will use a brush. Sometimes I won't, but I just want to make sure you girls realize like don't brush it a ton, um, especially because I'm not putting a product in it. And you could definitely put in like a texturizing spray. I just find that my hair lasts longer if I don't put the product in. So I'm not going to wash my hair again for a week. I really don't put any product in until Wednesday, which is day five and or six, depending on how you count it. And I just put dry shampoo in. Sometimes, like last week, for example, I didn't ever touch up my curls. I just brushed my hair every day. But there are certain weeks where like I'm filming more or I'm doing things where I want to add curls. So then I might use like a heat protectant before I add curls. But you'll see I didn't use it today and a lot of girls say you have to use a heat protectant. I've just found my hair does better if I don't. So that's all I'm saying. But yep, I just wanted you to see the actual finished look. Well, that's it for today's get ready with me video if you liked it give it a thumbs up if you have any other questions go ahead and ask them down below if you haven't subscribed yet please do and i'll see you girls really really soon bye